One of the things that you can do in Microsoft Access is you can use the form wizard to create forms. And a form is an easy to use data entry and navigation screen. And a form allows you to arrange your fields of a record in any layout so that it's really quick and easy to find and enter and edit and analyze your data. So we're going to look at how to create a form using the form wizard. And as you can see, I do already have an access database open. So to get to my form wizard, I'm simply going to click on create. And once I click on create, I see several groups here, tables, queries, forms, reports, and macros and code. And I want to look in the forms group. And right now, I'm just going to use the form wizard, which is going to guide me through creating a form. So it's kind of going to do the heavy lifting for me. So when I click on form wizard, I have a couple of options. And the first thing that I have to do is I have to select the fields that I want um, to use for this form. And in this case, I'm going to create a form that I can use to enter and update data in the tours table. So I'm going to make sure that since my database has lots of different tables in it, I choose the correct table. So I want the tours table in this case for the example that we're doing. And I want all of these fields to display on my form when it's created. So I am going to simply click on the Select All Fields button, which is right here. And you'll notice that that moves all of my fields from the Available Fields section to the Selected Fields section. And then I can click Next. And next I get to choose what layout I would like for my form to have. Um, by default, it's going to be columnar, which is what I want in this case. And you can see as I click through those different options, I get a preview of what my form would look like with each of those. And I'm just going to keep the default for this one and click Next. Now I have to give my form a title. So I'm going to call it Tours Entry Form. I don't want to name it just tours because I do have a table named tours, so that might get a little bit confusing. So I'm going to name it something a little bit different, and tours entry form tells me exactly what it is um, that I'm doing here. So the next thing I'll do is I will click on finish and that's going to create my form. Now if I wanted to I could go back and modify the forms design a little bit but in this case I'm just going to keep everything the way that it is and I'm going to click finish. So now my form has been created for me. And on this form I can do a couple different things and I also have different views of the form. Um, each item that I see here on my form is called a control and a label control is used to describe data um, that we see here in our text boxes. A label is also used for the title of the form. So the title of this one is Tours Entry Form. Now I would use my different views for different purposes probably. So right now I'm looking at form view and this is the view that I would want to use when I want to find, sort, enter, or edit data. And as you can see, when I am in my form view, all I have to do to um, edit data is simply click in my label box here and type in whatever I need for um, that change to be. And I can add records really easily um, and I can also do some sorting which I'll show you in just a minute. A second view that I have of my form is layout view. And you can see that this changes things just a little bit when I switch over to layout view. I do get a field list um, and layout view is good if I need to modify the size and the position or um, show data as we modify the form. You can see here that when I click in the box, the text box here, instead of letting me edit that text and edit my data, it actually lets me move that text box around. So if I need to change the layout, I can do that manually here. 
And then the third view is design view. And design view is what the what view we would use if we wanted to modify our header, um, the detail, or the footer section. And this is also where we can see all of the controls and properties of our form. And um, design view is not going to display data. So keep that in mind when you switch over to design view. And we'll talk more about that in a later section. So I'm just going to click on the design tab and then switch my view back to form view, form view and show you a couple things about this form. So as I said before, if I wanted to edit anything that's here, all I have to do is click in the text box and um, type in whatever I want to do. I also want to show you quickly how you can do some simple sorts in a form that you've created. So I'm going to click here in the tour name text box. This one happens to be Breeze Bay Shelling. And I'm going to click the ascending button in the sort and filter group. And as you can see, that changes what I see here. It takes me to the first record in alphabetical order. And if I click through, um, they are going to all be, and I'm clicking through backwards now, but they're all going to be in alphabetical order, um, and they're in ascending order by tour name, because that is the text box that I had my cursor in when I clicked that ascending button. So I can use my buttons here, next, and um, previous to go through all of the records that are in this form. And if I needed to make a change, all I have to do is click here and make whatever change I wanted to make to my form. And if I wanted to close my form, I can simply right click on the tab and choose close. And you can hear that sound there. It's automatically going to ask me whether or not I want to save changes when I close something. So of course, if it is a change that I want to save, I would say yes. And then simply close the form.